In my last video, I showed you how um, you can draw the dot plot using Excel. Now, one thing that I missed out was to label the axis, uh, which you can do by going to layout. Okay, so I hope you might be knowing this. So this is the dot plot of 20 year nine students uh, that is measured in centimeters. So I told you that dot plot is a good graph to talk about outlier. So this is an outlier. This seems to be an outlier or extreme value. This and this both seem to be outliers. Okay. So these are outlier or extreme values. So here you can talk about outlier and extreme value and cluster. So this is called a cluster. So this is a cluster or uh, so you can say most of the data or most of the values are between 21 and 28 or clustered around 21 and 28. So here you can see by just looking at this, your mode <clears throat> is the most common value. So the mode of this data is 25. Okay, so if you find uh, the median, uh, I, I hope you know the median would also be 25. Okay, I'm not going into that. You can calculate median yourself. So the median is in the middle. So you can also count like this. So you've got median, you've got 20 data. You've got 20 values here. So let me, by just looking at the dot plot, you can calculate median and uh, mode. So median is a middle value. So you've got 20 values. You've got 20 values. So this is how you can find median. Median is the middle value. So median so this is already ordered from the lowest to the highest. So median, the middle value would be the middle of 20. So that is, this is how you use the formula. So 20 plus one divided by two, which is 21 divided by two, which is 10.5. So this is between the 10th and the 11th value, 10.5th value. So what does this mean? It's average, this means average of the 10th and the 11th value. Average of 10th and 11th value is your median. Okay, so let's value. Okay, I'll also show you how you can do this on Excel. So you got, you count nine to the left, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are your nine values. So these are your 10 and 11 values. So you got, again, nine values to the uh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the median is also 25. So that's how you can calculate mean and median, sorry, mode and median from dot plot. Okay, now how to do this uh, using Excel. So this is again, the dot plot. So yeah, to Excel, I already now the first thing uh, I would like to do, of course, this is already sorted in the ascending order. Okay, so there are 20 values, 20 students. So can you see uh, the 10th and the 11th uh, are in the middle. So the average of 25 and 25 would be 25. Okay, so let me show you how you can find mean and so let me find, show you how to find these values. Lowest value, highest, you don't need, uh, okay, there's no need of lowest and highest value because the lowest is 30 and your highest is 28. So how to find mean and median using Excel. Okay, it's pretty easy. So this is how you do, you press equal, always when you want to find something, you start with an equal to, equal, and you go average, average bracket, and you highlight the data, highlight the data like this, and close the bracket. So we're asking Excel to find the average, that is the mean from B2, which is this cell, this is B2, to B21, so let me show you. This is, this is, this is B21. And if you press enter, it'll give you 23.8, which is the mean. And equal to median, you have to type in exact spelling, median, the same thing, highlight the data, 
and close the bracket and press enter that is 25 so this is how you can do mean and median using uh, uh, Excel okay so now range range is highest minus the lowest so this is you can do so range is equal to so this is your high so this is your highest so press this so that is this is B21 okay minus your lowest so click on this this is B2 and enter so your range is 15 so this is how you can do mean median and range using